Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a frame in Pix for use in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. The ability to make your own frames is an essential step if you want to create professional looking whiteboard videos with Doodly. Frames can help you give your videos a polished look and make them even more engaging for your viewers. So let's get started. I'm going to show you a couple things here. This first rectangle does come with Doodly Enterprise, okay? So this one here is a solid white rectangle with a black border. And if you have Doodly Enterprise, then you have access to it. But what if this um, aspect ratio of this isn't exactly what you need? Or what if you want a thicker border? So for example, this frame here has a much thicker border and it kind of matches the thicker style of the props I have. Well, this is one that I created on my own, okay? I made it in Pix. And you'll see it has a solid white background, so it is not transparent in the middle. If I wanted it to have a transparency in the middle, I could certainly do that. So let's go ahead and go into Pix and I'll show you how to do this. Now the other, oh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, we did a shapes tutorial in Pix and this is gonna be very similar. So let's go ahead and go to new and we're gonna choose a custom image. Now you have some sizing decisions you can make here. Are you using a square canvas or are you gonna use a rectangular canvas? I like to kind of match it to what I have in mind. You don't absolutely have to, but it's helpful. Okay, so I'm going to do 1920 by 1080. Now that's the max size that Doodly accepts. It is a rectangular format. There we go. So this is exactly the size of my Doodly canvas, okay? Now I just want to make a simple frame. So I'm going to go to shapes and I'm going to choose the rectangular tool. Now, all I do is use my mouse and I draw it. And my rectangle should be pretty darn close to what I have in mind. I don't really want a solid black rectangle right now. Maybe you do. But what I do want is to, it to have a fill color. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and I'm going to choose one and I could make it whatever color I'd like. I think I'll go for just a gray. Hit apply. And then border, do I want a border? And if so, do I want it to be black? Well, yeah, I do want a border. If I didn't, I would just turn it off. Okay, but I do. And do I want it to be black or do we want a different color? Well, let's go with a blue one. And now width, do we like the default 10 point width? Do we want it thinner or do we want it fatter? Kind of depends on what you have in mind and this is basically it so <laughs> really all we do now is hit export give it a name we're going to call it our gray and blue frame i'm choosing a png format because i want the transparency around the edges we go back into doodly go to our props and then the blue plus sign Let's just drag and drop our frame in here. Okay, so now we have a frame. So let's go ahead and create a new scene here. So I'm just gonna get rid of this for the moment. We'll drag it in and fill our scene with this frame. And we have some nice white edges around it. Now we could make like a title sequence or whatever it is we'd like to do. So let's do this. And that's looking pretty good. One final thing we can do while we have it in Doodly is we can adjust its opacity. So click the little gear icon and right here under opacity, let's change that to say 60%. It's a little lighter now. And I like that. I hope this gives you some ideas of how you can use Pix and Doodly together to create frames for your videos. Thanks for watching.